Hello, everybody, and welcome to Cheese Quest. The objective of this game is to eat the cheese. Nothing more complicated than that. Do you understand? Yes. It is a roguelike deck builder. Uh, it seems to be heavily inspired by inscription, from what I can tell. Very curious. Before starting the game, I must warn you. This game may contain cartoon depictions of blood. This may be upsetting to some players. Is this okay with you? I, why does this feel like a kind of game where I could, like, say no? Like, does it... <laughs> hmm. Unfortunately, the existence of blood may be a vital mechanic to this game. As a compromise, I could turn all depictions of blood into delicious cream soda? Would this be okay with you? Sure. Excellent. This game may contain patterns of flashing lights that could possibly induce undesired effects from disorders such as epilepsy. Please consult a medical professional before playing this game if you have any doubts. Are you okay with this? Also, no. Okay, the game just closed. All right. Well, that one we're going to have to deal with. I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm okay with this, after a little bit of thought. Thank you. You are ready to play. I hope you enjoy your time. Th thank you. Uh, I'm eating the cheese? What are you doing? I had one job! It was to eat the cheese! Stop it! You can't eat this. This cheese is not for you. Okay. If you want this cheese... This cheese? Why do you want it? Why do I want... I don't know why I want it. I don't really want this cheese anymore. You know, I don't really need the cheese. You will have to earn it. Okay. Let's see. Yes, this should suffice. But you will require some cards. Thank you. I have some seeds now. Seeds! They can be eaten as is or grown for sustainable food. Let's begin. Okay. I uh, let's look at the anatomy. This is so slow. The text of a card. Cards have different components, and I can't control the speed or anything. Attack or how much damage you can inflict. Though seeds have none. Health or how much damage it can take before dying. Food intake or how much the card will eat per turn. Oh, seeds don't eat. Food value, how much food the card will provide you. And modifiers, okay. Seeds have the growth modifier. After a turn, they will grow into wheat, okay. You can always right-click a modifier to see what it does. Once you reach 10 food points, you win. Oh, it's just that easy. Can I play more seats? Sure. And my turn. You will eat, make sure not to starve. Okay, at the end of his turn, you will eat. How do I, like, what do you, what do you mean? I need to not starve. And my turn, I mean, I don't think I have anything else I can do. You want to give me some more cards? I mean, right now, it's straightforward, and I'm sure that this is the entire game, right? You've won. You know how important seeds are. In a perfect world, you could always survive with seeds alone. Life is rarely so perfect. Thank you, Cheese Quest. Well, 
All right, understood. Hunger. So you eat. Increase its food intake value at the end of each turn after eating. Animals need to eat. When you place one, it will eat your food. It will continue to eat every turn. The calf will keep getting hungrier. Wait, what do you mean? Like its hunger value is actually going to go up? Hunger. Increase its food intake value at the end of each turn after eating. Okay. And uh, where is this going? Gee, I have no idea. It's your turn. Draw a card. There we go. And my turn. Oh boy. It's a cow now. You now have a cow, man. But at what cost? Every turn, your cow will give you milk. Great, of course. For now, allow me to remove the cow for you. Play your milk. Play your milk, peasant. I've played my milk. I mean, is the milk just a- I would assume it'd be a one-time consume, no? Will grow up after- wait, my milk will grow up? Excuse me? I don't like the thought of that. <gasps> Congratulations! You have achieved cheese. Thank you. And now you have achieved rot. Gotcha. So now it's going down by two? Good game. All right. I'm still wondering about this top bar. Calves and seeds, the basics of food. Let's increase the difficulty. You rat! Play your rat on the middle row. Your rat will not provide you food. However, it is not simply a leech. You will see. Okay. A valiant sacrifice. Your rat has fed the enemy rats. Thus, the enemy will not need to eat this turn. It is your turn. I mean, okay, I'll just keep defending here. Sure, what goes around comes around, as they say. Since you already fed your rat to deploy it, the spoils from the slain rat are yours. So, okay. Interesting. So that goes up then, because of it. The rat does take one every turn and doesn't give anything. Wait, does, I, at least I'm assuming. Can I draw, not draw any more cards? I just, am I just keep, I'm gonna keep on ending my turn? You are at a standstill. Very well. I shall provide assistance. Knives. <laughs> ah, yes. Pick up the knife. Oh, gee. Yeah, okay. If the if the extremely obvious ins inscription uh, influence was not already extremely obvious. Cream soda. Delicious cream soda. The music stopped. All right. It is your turn. Thank you. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I, I know I don't have to. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't actually want to... Wait. Wait, what does that mean? Oh, it's in my hand. The hand just kind of covers over that spot. Excellent. You have done well. Remember, you can sacrifice anything, not just animals. We have nothing left to teach you. All right. Let's play for real. All right. I'm going to assume we want to play this and then when the uh when the cow becomes cow, watch this. Why is it why is it watch this? Happily put down more seeds. Okay, so you eat three now every turn? All right. Oh, you jerk. What do we got? Okay, so we got the rat. Theoretically. We can do a little bit of that. Play a little bit of rat. Yeah. Okay. Boink. I'm just gonna assume we're fine. Overflow? You got lucky. Sure. Take one. Flies? What do they do? Decomposer. A card with this mod will turn any food type card opposing it into rot at the end of the turn and then die. What's a food type card then? Because it sure sounds like everything in this game, in a way, is a food type card. Get another f I'll just get another one of those, I guess. Whatever's opposing it? I mean, do we just do the same thing? Or maybe, like, we can't really push it more. Okay, so we got the wheat. Keep on going on the seeds there. Maybe we'll draw the extra seeds. Do we... Okay, so we go... Do you eat first? Oh, you attacked immediately, huh? I mean, I think we just have to do the exact same thing for now. And then we go, we get you, we get the extra food there. I mean, protect my seeds, Mr. Rat. I mean, right now, so far, so fine. It's a dog. Okay, that should be okay. I think we might... So what happens if you attack me directly? Does it do three damage over here? I guess in that case, I want you to attack the seeds. I mean, I don't know. Do I... Oh, I, if I place that, but kill the rat, actually. We would have been fine. Got lucky. Yes, sir. Locust. Devastator. The card with this mod will turn any plant type card opposing it into rot at the end of the turn and then die. Why would I want to do that, I guess, is my question. I'd assume there has to be... The card with this mod will turn any food type card opposing it into rot. Any plant type. I don't sure. I'll take it. Am I ready? I guess I'm not sure. What if I don't want to put down the calf yet? What if that's the play? I mean, this is, it's been proving to be fine every single time. We just let him build us up and then send him away, so to speak. But if we didn't play, maybe we could get a little bit of an extra setup going. Okay. So yeah, you do attack me directly. I mean, the flies can probably take a block. I'm <laughs> just making sure. What are you trying to pull? 
What do you think I'm trying to pull? I was making sure. I was just trying to see if there's any kind of text. And guess what, nerd? There was. Okay, so the flies, they can at least chump block for us. That's something. Can I put my seeds up there? I guess I can. I don't really, do I care? Do I want to? Not really. All right. Dog. Three, two, two, two. Which one was which up here? This is how much it eats. This is how much it sacks for? Interesting. I agree. It was a it was an interesting choice. Well, about that. I don't think we can actually play the cap. I'm assuming we'll get to just draw these right into our hand. Yep. Yeah, not looking good. Snake. Venomous. Oh, gee. Oh, gee. What? A <laughs> one, one snake with venomous. Uh, will inflict poison mod on any card attacks. I guess I don't know what that means. A card with this mod cannot have the poisonous mod. All right. I, do I care if I get poisoned? Does that do something? Does that matter? I can't play the calf. I mean, I could play it and then sacrifice it immediately, I guess. All right. Uh. Suppose we could just like do that. Very shortly here, we will. Okay, we're we're growing now. Ooh, baby, we're growing. There's the other snake. Okay, sure, understood, understood. The calf does not have any attack, which is what puts this in a weird spot. Good. We get to eat the snake. The rat shall defend us. Thank you, Mr. Ratatouille. Oh, no. I don't know. I don't know if I have another one, man. I take one. You eat one. So down, down one, down two, down three. Up one, two, three. This should be okay. And then the calf will let us grow this seed here. And maybe we'll get lucky. We just had a bad starting draw. There's nothing I can do. This is going to be a sacrifice it moment. Probably. This is tricky, tricky, tricky. We've started to have a problem. I don't want you to break that wheat, though. Do we just keep on getting seeds forever? Because if so, I guess this isn't too bad. Like, we might just slowly get there. Another ra Okay, good. Do we sack the calf? One, so one, two, three, four, five. We do that. We're good. That was messy. That was messy, but we, we recovered. Do I have? Oh, I have to choose a card. Well, I mean, I guess I'll go for the other seeds then. Okay, now there we go. That's a start I like. That's a start I like. I start I know. Okay. Keep going. 
I want the cheese. Oh, you. That is a, that is a wild one for us. How do I handle that? Um. Maybe I just let it. I don't think I can let it happen. Because it probably does do three damage to me. Like, I want to let the cow give us the cheese, but obviously I can't really make it there. Can we get another rat? Oh, no. That may be it, man. We're going to slowly go down. Please give me a rat. Oh, calf. I don't know. I could put it down and sacrifice it. I don't know what poison is. I'm assuming the calf will just, like, you know, die. I feel like this is probably going to sacrifice... Uh, this would probably do three damage to us. I would assume it would do that. Ah! Uh, but I don't know. I don't know, but I assume. Slowly we're dying. We need another rat! I need another rat so bad! Oh, well, he's gonna spoil that. I'm just dead. We'll die after a number of turns left on the mod. We'll inflict the poison mod on any card that attacks it. Okay. That's interesting. I am going to definitely die. So we might as well just let it happen. Bring it on. Drawing one per turn? Like, obviously, I, ca I can't come back from that. It's your turn. Starvation is set in. Oh. Wait. I have that many strikes? Oh no, I could I could have kept going. Oh no. Holy crap. I, I didn't think it was this is not the game kind of game that would look like it would be forgiving. So this is probably just an entire day of starvation, I would assume. So it's it's probably just like one failure, right? It's not going to fail twice. Or is it going to be like one fail, two fail, three fail? How disappointing. Wonderful. I, I'm happy to get a second go at it. And also see what happens in the uh, in Murderville here. You have perished. Perhaps you require some assistance. Let's see. Yes. This should help. An ancient artifact. Some say it can tell the future. I mean, that is very handy. Next, choose a base card. I feel like another rat is actually, like, actually the play. Next, choose a card to augment its stats. Uh... Just the stats? Now choose a card to pass on traits. I guess... Growth? Finally bestow upon your creation a name. Yeah, this is like literally just inscription, man. Uh... Let's see. Excellent. Truly excellent. Wait, what? I hope you're satisfied. Goodbye. Thanks. I am. You withheld mechanics from me. And now I'm good. Okay, here we go. So this lets me see the future. Oh, oh. Why was that not freaking... Yes, thank you. Okay. 
That's um kind of really important to hide. Okay, I'm happy I died then. I'm genuinely happy I died. How about this? What, a locust? There we go. Kazetheus. Your move. Bye. Oh, you've grown up. You're now a 2-3. Alright, this is gonna be so much easier. What the hell? Well played, thanks. Thanks, yes. Truly, truly, truly. Toad? Poisonous. Will inflict the poison mod on any card that attacks it. Again, I don't know what that means. I'm assuming it's take a damage per turn or something. Or maybe just die. I need to be able to afford my rat. Doing jack squat. Okay. Well. It's gonna come here and kill that. I could kill them both, and I don't know. The dog's gonna do three damage, though. Oh, uh, you jerk. I don't- I don't know, man. I think we just have to accept that we're gonna take that. Which is really annoying. Seats. I mean, all in all, we will get there. If we can keep on just putting down things that- Okay, but there's a rat coming now, too. Mm. Okay. Rat coming down. Double kill there. I mean, not great. If we were two away, we could go for it. Yeah, I'm afraid of breaking this thing. I'm pretty sure that it would do three. I wish this stayed on. We can sack that for one, one, one. We're not quite there. Yes, and we block this, and then next turn we sacrifice it. But then we're going to be taking, apparently, probably three. Wait, no? Did, we go, did it only go down two? One and then two? What? Okay. All right, so we don't take three damage, we just take one, because that extra one was just the natural, uh, the fact that the calf slowly over the course of time. Oh, you're trying to play another rat there. Interesting. I could play this and sacrifice a bolt, and we'd be not quite there yet. I guess I need to protect this until I get something else. Oh my god. Don't I have another rat? Yeah, it wants to play another rat there, so, like, that line is fairly much, like, fairly a lost cause. I guess I could just drop down this over here, boom, and then probably get another seed over there. And we're getting two, but we're losing three a turn. Naturally, we take two, and then we lose one from hunger just just because. So, it, we're in a stalemate regardless. We really are. work. Boom, boom. 
And then you have another dog as well. I literally just, I just don't have the tools for this. I literally just don't have the tools for this. So one, two, three. This is the end. Thank you. Yes, I, I do see that. I do see that. What the hell, man? Like, how, do, how was I supposed to? I don't have the tools for that. You perished. Perhaps you require some assistance. Uh, all right. You know what? Let's have a special seed base. Next, choose a card to augment its stats with... Oh. So seeds that do damage, how about that? Pass on modifiers. I don't really want hunger. You're telling me I literally have to. Uh, that sucks. Bestow upon your creature creation <laughs> a name. Uh, you know, <laughs> fine. Excellent. Truly excellent. This is not good. <laughs> like, I literally had no other option. Hope you're satisfied. I'm not. This card sucks. But I guess I'll put it down anyways. What is that card? Good question. It is now hungry. Just stupid. It just doesn't make sense to have anymore. Why is this not permanently on? Why does it turn off? I don't want it to turn off. This is really expensive, though. We're gonna get the one for eating that, though, and then the, that'll save itself. We can just do that. So it's gonna be, boom, one, one naturally, one from him, two from the calf. It's dangerous, but this is fine. Leshy again. Man, getting to the spot where I can get cheese, I now understand. It is tough to have the uh, correct amount of food. Do I finally, do I just get a dog? He requires a lot, but he's the only thing that can stop, that can really stop another, another dog, aside from two rats. I'm just gonna, you know what? I think that more rats is just fine. Just getting more rats seems solid. Okay, the eye's on. Let's see. That starts to need food. Again, why does it turn off? Stop. Leave that on. Kind of okay with this. It's not the best. We can then just do that. It protected, and then we get to do sacrifice, and then we get we get a win out of it. Okay, I mean, yeah, it's not bad. Turns off. Okay. Theoretically, we one, two, three. Don't we just win like this? Yeah. Nice. Snake. I feel like that's a solid call. I would have chosen to... Would you say it's a total misplay? Would you say it's a total misplay, game? Don't put down the rat when there's nothing there. That makes no sense. Uh, 
it's very thematically close, but it is it is definitely doing a lot of different things with how it's managing your winning condition, for sure. Okay. Bye-bye. Don't mind it. Did we have enough to win there? We might have. We we win this turn anyways. Bonk, 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 bonk. Stab, stab, stab. Wait, what? You're offering me another le I don't want one, to be fair. I'm gonna just keep on taking rats because it genuinely seems like the thing we need more than anything. Like, is having a way to defend ourselves. I don't want him to be able to, uh, to corrupt my thing. Oh, this is a lot, though. Do we eat this? I don't think we do. I think it's worth zero. We gain one, two, and then we eat that, and then we attack. I don't think we gain food out of attacking, though. I'm pretty sure we don't, at the very least. So do I die on this? I think I do. Unless... No, that doesn't make sense. It costs one to play. Ay, 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 ay. So he'll eat the food, but we'll gain the food still. This, yeah, no, this just sucks. I think we have to kill the snake. We shouldn't have played the snake. Which is a bummer. So we did get we did get food for eating the locusts. Why? It doesn't have a it didn't have a cost. So we just get one you get one food for eating anything. You get one food for eating anything. I guess is the uh, the takeaway there. Okay. Locust. I don't know. Maybe, the, maybe we just sacrifice that there. Snake. Locust. What are you gonna do, locust, huh? <laughs> the hell, man. Unless she, what a weird, dumb, bad card we have. Let's see what poison does. I'm assuming it's the same as the other game. But maybe it's just... Will die after the number of turns lifts it on the mod. How many turns? Well, I guess it's not this one then. So, I mean, that's nice at least. Bonk. Kill. <sighs> you son of a gun! Oh my god! Calf. I can't really do anything with the calf. I actually just don't really have a win condition. Boink. That is not your card. I guess we sacrifice the rat though, which is annoying because it's probably gonna be. Yeah. Snake. Snake v snake. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, at least we're gonna get. Uh... No. Okay. We don't inflict. We don't inflict poison when. Um... 
<sighs> we don't inflict poison when we get hit. It's not like a reactionary thing. It's only on the attack. But that's okay. I, what was I going to do? I mean, we have the dog coming still anyways. We have the calf. We have the seeds. This theoretically just does one... And you want to put a rat down there, so I'm not- I'm definitely not letting that happen. And I guess we just have to operate under the assumption that this does indeed do one. Like, it seemed like it did last time. And hope that this saves us. You gotta be freaking kidding me, man. You gotta be freaking kidding me, man. Ah. Uh. This just sucks, because he's going to come down, he's going to kill the wheat. We really don't have the play here. Like, we could have left that there, then we would have died because it would have eaten. Um, we literally just don't have any way of doing this. Like, there's just, there is not a way to do this uh, with the cards that we've had. Um, I don't want to kill this. This is going to come down and kill this. I can't defend myself. If I had a dog, would it be better? I mean, I guess you could put it down defensively against rats, but then can't do anything with the dog. If I sacrifice the wheat, what would that really do for me? I mean, a sack and I go up to three, we'd lose one. They'll go one, two, three. We'd lose one strike up here. And then we inevitably, obviously, lose another strike. Yeah, it's just kind of a... I think we're kind of in a feels-bad moment. We put down the rat preemptively. We lose one. Lose one, gain one. Attack. You attack. You attack. Lose one, gain one. Attack, block, attack. I don't love that, but, like, whatever. At this point, we, we really don't have any options. Theoretically, this doesn't actually lose us one, though. So I guess that's the... Good thing. Careful. Okay. That is indeed the case. It's your turn. So we are in the realm now where we're going to start losing stuff. I kind of just need to literally stall until I draw a rat. Like a second rat that I can actually play reactionarily. Or uh, uh, proactively instead of re reaction. Yeah. I'm going to starve. Like, I am going to starve. That's a kill. We get healed for one. He pays for himself. Uh, we heal one here. Heal, heal. Locust. Boom. Dog. Down in death's door again. Leshy. We have to do this. This is just... This is just... A silly, this is stupid. This card here. All right, um, if I just have two seeds in here, I, I get to keep going until I potentially draw another rat. So that's something. Assuming that you're done. Yeah, you're done doing that. All right, don't do it again. I'm not, I mean, uh, hey, I don't know what to tell you. I literally had to. I think we're good now. Okay. Boink. Get rid of that, slowly but surely. All right, okay, it's done spawning garbage now. Done spawning garbage. Could we get the cheese? If I get another seed, are you done spawning stuff? Why do you say hurry? Why are you saying hurry? I don't like that. But I do want to see. I think I can get the cheese. If you're not spawning anything else, if the, if the goal is to get the cheese, I can get the cheese. Is that the whole goal? If, is, is it game over after that? Watch this. No, th I'm, I'm good. You keep doing that. All right. Here comes the cheese. All 
Oh, here comes the milk. How about this? I don't mind it. Alright. The milk is gonna... I guess I could... No, don't sacrifice the cow yet. Okay, there's more milk. Let's see. Indeed, let's do it. I've run out of cards. That's fine. When's this milk gonna... turn into cheese? Is it not cheese now? I did it! Okay, you're out of cards. Yeah. I don't really care, though. Is this just veg- uh, any plant? Okay. I mean, if our goal is to eat the cheese... My boy. I'm going to eat the cheese. Do I have to sacrifice the cheese? What? You've won. Okay. All right. I'm- I- you know, I ate the cheese. Oh, it, it adds these other ones back to the pool. I mean, that's pretty fun. Either way, man. Yeah, this is a this is a weird, wild little game here. Uh, it is three bucks on Steam if you are interested in it. Uh, you can pick it up right now. Link at the top of the description. It is a it is a wild trip, very clearly inspired by Inscription, but it is definitely doing like a different take on a similar thing. It's not just a card battler. It's it's leaning into this sort of survival element, and it's going full roguelike uh, with the take on it. You know, there's not like a ton of different cards as of right now that we're being offered in the beginning. Let me see how many cards there are. Uh, 13 cards right now. Obviously, you know, more would, would be a big deal. <laughs> like, that would make a big difference. Yeah, 13 cards with 8 modifiers. I, I say, yeah. Keep your eye on it. Uh, it's in early access. Uh, very, very interesting. Aiming for quarter four 2023 release. So there's like a lot of dev time left here. Uh, proof of concept. Yeah, of course, it's very neat. Uh, thematically, obviously, you know, it's been proven that people like this sort of genre, this sort of style. I, I enjoy it too. I'm, I'm not against it. If there's games that are going to be inspired by Inscription, I'm all for it. If there's any... You know, especially if they're going to be leaning more into the roguelike sort of angle. I'm very down for it. Of course, of course. Uh, but yeah, this is going for like a sur oh, core survival element. Much more than anything. You are really just trying to live through an assault from the enemies. You're not trying to take them down. And I think that's actually an interesting idea. I like that. I like that idea a lot. But alas, alas, that's that. That's going to do it for today. This has been Cheese Quest. My name is Retromation, covering the games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites. If that is something you are into, then this is a channel that you should be subscribed to. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel, Roguelites More, every single day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.